Hi everyone, this is Chicho again, and this is just a quick update regarding the language of mathematics. Now, it's been about two months since I put up a video for the math series, for series three. So I figured it's about time I did a little update to let people know why there hasn't been anything coming up. And what I plan to do and what's coming up. So what we've done so far is um, basically uh, in series three talked about the equal sign and initially I was going to make the series about the equal sign and units and you know try to you know mix those two together and I started off with the equal sign started off fine what we're going to start off with and um, started going to solving equations and I sort of morphed it into graphing functions so I sort of went down the function route so just wanted to let you know that series three is not going to have the uh, unit section in there it's going to be basically the equal sign uh, solving equations and functions of how to graph uh, specifically polynomial functions and it's going to be um, sort of a mediocre introduction to functions I'm going to sort of morph it into towards that and that's going to take me a while um, we're about halfway through the series right now we've talked about some factoring techniques and factoring is super important we've talked about greatest common factor and simple trinomial factoring and just to let you know how much material is going to be coming up is uh, we still have four more factorings to talk about. Two manual, two other manual factoring techniques, which is uh, the difference of squares and complex trinomial. And that would basically make it four factorings of uh, manual techniques. And then we're gonna talk about the quadratic formula, which is a formula we use to factor um, quadratic formulas, um, polynomials with uh, power of two, right? And we use that for things that we can't factor manually, which basically in real life situations, you really can't factor things manually. Okay. And from there, we're going to go into um, doing synthetic division. And synthetic division is used to find the factors, the x-intercepts, the roots of polynomials that are higher degree than, um, than the power of two. So basically we're going to take one large polynomial and I'm not sure what you know what what its order is going to be we've talked about order and stuff but I'm not sure what order what order is going to be it's going to be you know five or six or something like this right so we're going to take that and graph that towards the end of this series so that's where we are with uh, series three right now okay which is we're basically halfway through and there's a lot more videos that I plan on doing. What's my timing on this? Um, now, what I'm about to do is go on a serious sabbatical from my other work that I'm doing on the site, on online basically, any writing and stuff like this. So I'm basically putting my own website on, on hold. I'm gonna go on a few sabbatical for a few months. And what I plan on doing on the sabbatical is setting up a website specifically to deal with the language of mathematics. So I'm going to transfer everything from my site to this new website, uh, which, which is basically just going to be dealing with mathematics. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want math to be standalone. I don't want my, um, the information I have on my site, my prejudices, prejudices to interfere with anyone that wants to learn the language of mathematics. So it's, uh, I'm going to try to make it as, uh, um, as uh, as biased as possible of course uh, you know I'm teaching it so there's going to be a little bit of me in the or I guess there's a lot of me in 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 the way I teach and what I'm teaching but I'm going to try to reduce the biases and uh, you know just expose people to you know how math works and how to use math and uh, you know for anyone that wants to learn math so that's one reason that I'm going to create this website and transfer everything uh, to this new website okay I will probably still host the stuff on my site but um, this new website is just going to be all math related so during the sabbatical that I'm going to take off from my site I'm going to set up this website for, specifically for math the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another website which is going to mirror everything on the math website now my personal site I'm going to you know start you know create more create videos have a table of contents and organize things maybe a little bit differently and that's just really the first phase I'm gonna actually 
it's planned out to uh, obviously I'm going to cut it, you know, re-edit the stuff and put out a DVD. There's a lot of work involved with that. I'm going to create a membership and a forum and everything that goes into providing a space for anyone that wants to learn high school mathematics from beginning to end. And that's where I'm going with this. Uh, I was asked uh, what I plan to do with these math videos or how far I plan going down this road. And this was a few months ago. And my reply was basically, I'm going to try to cover all of high school mathematics, including an introductory course on calculus. And my time frame for this right now, a few months ago, was it's going to take me between five to ten years to do this. And that hasn't changed uh, considering the pace that I'm going at right now. And there's a lot that, you know, there's a lot of information there. I'm going to go down multiple branches. I'm going to, I might go into number theory, probability and statistics for sure. That's just as important as calculus. And um, so that's the plan for all the math videos that I'm doing. Basically, you know, within five to ten years, I hope to have a space where anybody that wants to learn high school mathematics and an introduction to a calculus can go there from beginning and learn it at their own pace, at their own, you know, leisurely pace or fast pace if they want. So everything will be available there. And at some point, you know, I'll I'm going to start getting into creating exercises and maybe even put on a little booklet uh, for the language of math uh, that you know will go hand in hand with everything available on the website. The site that I'm going to create that's going to be a mirror of the site is going to be specifically dedicated to raising money for certain organizations, grassroots organizations, which I believe are trying to make the world a better place for us. So there's going to be two websites. One of them is going to be dedicated specifically to the language of mathematics, what I'm doing, my personal work. And the other one is going to mirror almost everything from my personal work. And it's going to be set up specifically to raise money for grassroots organizations that are helping to improve life for us. And uh, basically those organizations are geared towards ending our war on nature and, uh, you know, uh, uh, human rights. It's, it, you know, I'm not going to get into it right now. Um, it, it's quite important. It's my belief, and uh, I think it's the right direction to go. And my schedule for having this website up is going to be uh, hopefully um, sometime during the summer of 2010. So that gives me a few months to build the content that I need to build, uh, you know, write and, um, and provide introduction about and, you know, explain, uh, you know, text written wise uh, where I'm going to go and, uh, you know, get all the resources I need to to get together to put all this thing together and again all that stuff is going to be mirrored on the other website and uh, the last update uh, the last thing I want to mention is the next videos that you're going to see I'm probably going to be clean cut this is going to go um, the reason I'm going to be shaving this beard is uh, because this winter um, Vancouver is hosting uh, the Olympics and uh, the city is going into lockdown so it's not going to be a good idea for me to walk around with a little backpack and you know go into alleys and stuff like this um, to do the math videos uh, on the walls. I'm going to have a certain limited amount of times winter, you know, daylight shrinks. But so I'm going to have to do this sort of guerrilla style and doing things guerrilla style in a city that's going to going into lockdown with a full beard is not a good idea. So I'm going to go clean cut because it's going to give me access to more areas and I won't get hassled by security or police or anyone like that, right? And uh, the other reason I'm going to be shaving this beard is because uh, the website that I plan to mirror, uh, that's going to mirror all the math videos, I think the information there is going to be better received if I'm a clean cut chicho instead of a bearded chicho. Uh, it's just my, it's just the audience that I'm trying to reach, and um, I think it'll it'll be better. Uh, it'll help to raise more funds, um, and uh, you know, it'll get the message across without any prejudices of people who might, you know, uh, be turned off of these things, of these beards, right? Um, so, those are the two reasons why the beard's coming off, and uh, it's going to be cold. It's, I'm going into winter, about to shave a beard, so I'm going to freeze uh, not my buns off but I'm gonna freeze my face off uh, which is okay 
um, it's, it's a sacrifice we all have to make. Right? Okay. That's it so, for now, and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next videos. I'm not sure where they're going to be coming up, but uh, I'll be around. I plan on uh, doing this uh, if it takes me five years, ten years. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, as long as I'm around, I'm going to keep on making these uh, until at least an introduction to calculus. And uh, we'll see where that goes, right? Hope you're enjoying them. Um, hope you enjoyed your summer. Hope you're enjoying the math videos. Uh, hope you're enjoying life in general. Okay, we'll talk later.